Hey, Rawhide fans, I'm Joel Guerin here with Jason McKinley. He's one of our relief pitchers for the Rawhide. Now with the Jackson Generals, you moved up in August last year, Jason. Jason, thanks for uh, taking the time to speak with me during this crazy time. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So first of all, right now, California is in a stay-at-home order. You're in Texas. What's going on in Texas right now? Do you guys have to stay at home? Yeah, so as of today, actually, like at midnight, um, or yesterday, I guess, whatever, I guess this morning at midnight, they put a stay at home order here in Houston as well. So uh, I don't know if it's as strict as the one in California is because, like, we're still able to get out and get groceries and stuff. Okay. Um, and, like, I think essential people are allowed to go to their jobs, but, like, anyone else is supposed to stay home. Mm -hmm. That's how it is here right now, too. We're yeah. almost at a week at this point there so how is that affecting your workout routine getting ready <laughs> um well it's it's definitely affected the gyms and stuff because they shut down like last week at some point so i've got some dumbbells and some kettlebells and stuff that i'm just making do with at home uh, oh. lifting wise and then throwing wise i've been able to go to the park i think i'm still allowed to go i'm going to test it today and try to find out Hopefully, I don't get stopped and get a ticket or something. <laughs> just so you know, as far as California, you can still go to the park. You just can't touch equipment. So hopefully, that's what it's like in Texas, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping the same thing. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you have a catcher that you're going to try to use or just throw against a wall? Yeah, my catcher is a net. Yeah. Nice. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> throw back to like high school days, huh? Yes. Yeah, hey, you make do with what you can get. Right. So, so I want to talk a little bit about that transition to double A. You had... Nine, you pitched nine innings. I saw a 1.0 ERA. Seems like the transition was pretty smooth for you. Yeah, um, I mean it was easy. It was like a like not the the jump to the level, but like the locker room was really easy to assimilate into. I played for Blake Lolly back in 2018 with King County, um, and so I was pretty familiar with him. And I think that made the comfort a lot higher uh, just going up there. Um, and I had been there for a brief stint on kind of like just a to fill in for a couple of starts in 2018 in Jackson. So I kind of knew the ballpark and stuff a little bit. And uh, I think, too, that kind of gave me a little bit of a comfort level. Uh, and then a lot of, like, honestly, we joked and called it the Jackson Rawhide because, like, half the team was from Visalia earlier in the year. So I knew a bunch of the guys on the team as well. Right. Talking so. about that. So Mark Caraviotis, he came back for our hot stove banquet. I know he was in Jackson with you. And yeah. he told me it was kind of weird – looking at the rawhide seeing them win the championship obviously you did too so congrats and jackson but thank you did you feel when the rawhide won like you won too was it kind of a weird sensation <laughs> that way yeah it definitely was weird um <laughs> it was it was cool though i mean because you feel a sense of pride um and not that i don't feel like i contributed in jackson because i did get to pitch in a couple of the playoff games and i did throw some for that last month of the season up there um, but I felt honestly like really tied to the Visalia championship because I pitched a lot more innings there. And so it was cool. Like, yes, it was weird because it's kind of like that was my team too. Um, but like, you know, I was proud of like Ruthie and all the guys and it was, it was cool to see. Awesome. So, cool. So you get two rings and yes. you just signed a new contract this year, a one year contract that was in what, December, January? Uh, no, I was in September, like September, right after wow. the season ended. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. how is this affecting you at all? It's not going to be extended, or at least have they told you anything about it? They haven't said anything yet. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. We'll see how it all plays out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm hopeful, and I think that we'll still have a season this year. You know, hopefully it'll just be pushed back a little bit. And um, I think we'll still be able to get a lot of games in. And uh, if I just go in and do my job, I think everything will just kind of fall into place, just like last year. Yeah, you've always been a pretty level-headed guy when it comes to emotions and things like that, so it sounds like this isn't really affecting you much. Yeah, I mean, it's the whole situation, I'm sure, is difficult for everybody. Um, but, I mean, like, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So just continue to keep practicing and getting better every day, and then the rest is out of my control. So. So I want to transfer into, or transition rather, into some more personal questions. So Cole Bartlett got married. I know you went, <laughs> Jeff Bain, Vern, and Wes Tunnel went also. Yep. And then I know you officiated a wedding in January. So did you take notes at Cole Bartlett's wedding for when you had to officiate? <laughs> I definitely, so when I was sitting in the crowd watching, uh, 
I was I was definitely taking mental notes watching the officiant at his wedding, and uh, he had this like like little booklet thing that he held the script in in his hand, and I went and bought one at Office Depot <laughs> so that I could have this because I thought it looked cool. When he did it, um, so I definitely learned from that um, and tried to implement some of the things from it into the wedding that I did officiate later on. Awesome, and that was your two friends from college, the wedding you officiated, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, so actually the guy, I've known him since we played high school and college baseball together. Okay. So I've known him for a long time. And then I met Elizabeth, his wife. I met her in college when they started dating. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Did you get any notes, yeah. any feedback on your officiating skills? <laughs> um, hey, they said they liked it. Um, the bride was happy. So really, that's all that matters. All that matters. Um, yep, good. <laughs> yeah, she said she liked it and, um, and she seemed happy. They got married, so I think it worked. Awesome. Still married, I'm assuming. Still so married. Still going, married. going strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still married. So you dished to me that you love dancing at weddings and that Taylor Swift yes. is your, um, I guess, guilty pleasure. Were you able to still dance and have fun at the wedding even though you officiated? Yes, at both weddings, nice. for sure. Um, I think the dance party at the one I officiated was fun, but honestly, the one at Cole's wedding was, it was a blast. Mm -hmm. I think. Like, being with a bunch of the guys from the season, it was cool. And, like, I think, honestly, the, the dance floor was probably open for, like, four hours, and I probably spent a combined five minutes off of it. Like really? the rest of the time, it's, <laughs> like, there, just getting after it. Just get some water, you gotta hydrate in between. Yes, yeah, you gotta hydrate every once in a while. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the key. Yeah. Cool. So, thank you again for taking the time to speak with me. Um, good luck this season. Keep in touch, and, yeah, thanks again.